In today's video, we're gonna go over some of the best Blender add-ons for generating cities, with the goal of saving you time, effort, and money too. This is actually an update to a video that was made a couple of years ago, since we have now many interesting new add-ons in addition to updates to existing ones, so without further ado, let's jump right into it. We're gonna start with iCity, which I think lives up to its name as an ambitious city generator, and it is a new one by the way. So where do we begin? Well, it works by letting you sketch out a city layout with simple edges and faces, and then instantly turn them into dedicated streets and buildings. And the good thing, the add-on comes packed with a huge library of over 300 assets, including 60 plus road sections, a dozen building presets, and 20 plus procedural building types that you can play around with. You can tweak things like the road width, building heights, and even swap building styles on the fly which I think makes every city you make kind of feel unique. And for a lot of people, this is really important. What's really cool is the imperfection system. You see, iCity can scatter little details like trash, leaves, puddles, and even add water drains to give your city a really cool looking environment without spending too much time or effort. So it is basically a one-stop shop for quickly generating a city environment, though be prepared with a decent PC since all those details can overpower your machine if you're not careful about it. Cityscapes from Bee Production isn't a city generator per se, but a beefy library of city assets that makes building urban backgrounds a breeze. It offers 96 ready-made building models from real cities around the world, like New York, Paris, Tokyo, etc. And they all come with 8K textures. And by the way, Using it is as simple as dragging and dropping from Dendro Asset Browser to fill out your scene with skyscrapers and city blocks. The idea here is to quickly set up realistic sky skylines in addition to panoramas. But you might say, what can I use this for? Well, this is great for those distant cityscape shots where you need authentic looking buildings on the horizon. The models are optimized so they don't tank your performance, but keep in mind they are meant for those background shots not super close-up inspections. So in a nutshell, Cityscape is like a city-themed kit set, which is super handy when you need a credible urban background without modeling everything from scratch. City Builder 3D from Light Architect, on the other hand, is a popular add-on which also takes a kit approach to city creation. And by the way, it has been around for many years, which is a good thing, because now, it comes with 115 professional 3D building assets designed for VFX artists, and they are neatly organized into themed packs. You've got everything, from modern city scrapers and industrial buildings to cyberpunk future city pieces, medieval houses, Soviet-style blocks, you name it. And as you can see, using City Builder is pretty straightforward, in addition to being user-friendly. Though, through the Annals interface, you can add buildings to your scene really fast, and mix and match styles to build a custom city skyline. The assets are fairly detailed. There is even a sci-fi pack and more being added over time. So generally speaking, your cities will look of high quality. By the way, the add-on is in procedural in a sense of generating an auto layout. Instead, it empowers you to quickly populate a scene by choosing pre-made buildings, which I think is obvious at this point. So it is great for artists who want control over which buildings go where while saving you a ton of time compared to modeling everything from scratch yourself. The City Generator is a recent add-on that leverages, as you might expect, Blender's geometry nodes for quick city generation. The fact is, this add-on has been around for a little bit more than a year now, but it is really popular. Overall, I think it is user-friendly and generally speaking really impressive. You simply start with a plane, click a button to import the setup, and then design your city simply by editing the mesh in the edit mode. Essentially, you extrude faces or drew edges or you want streets or blocks. And the Anno Geonode setup fills in the buildings, streets, and sidewalks in real time. By the way, there is a handy side panel UI with sliders and options, so you can adjust building density, heights, facade styles, etc. And even enable a low poly preview mode to keep things running smoothly. It also lets you drop in details like street lights, trees, and it features a traffic simulation. So yes, you can have little cars driving around in your generated city grid, which is super fun and handy for many purposes. 
The CD generator also includes procedural materials that can make switching from day to night really easy. And here's the interesting thing. Buildings can have lit windows for night scenes, and you can do that at the flick of a switch, which gives you a lot more flexibility. On the other hand, the next add-on called Urbaniac is a hybrid between an asset library and a procedural building tool. Nonetheless, it is pretty interesting to play around with. The idea is that you can draw or use any simple shape in Blender, and the add-on will extrude it into a complete building that conforms to that outline in real time. The add-on has been around for a couple of years now, and it currently features a variety of architectural styles, so you could turn the same base shape into, say, a modern glass tower or a classic brick building with just a switch, which I think is really fast. And similar to the other add-ons, this one also lets you customize materials easily, so you can change basic colors, weathering, etc. And you have a variety of options. And one standout feature is the integration with something the developer calls UR Launcher, which is basically a control panel where you can globally adjust settings like the building lights, for instance, day and night changes as we said before, or you can add effects like rain, snow, and so on to your city. In addition, Urbaniac comes with a highly detailed version when it comes to building for close-ups and lighter versions for filling up large landscapes. Also, I want to mention Scene City, which is like a veteran city generator. It's been around for a while, more like 10 years, and I'm surprised I didn't hear about it until researching this video. Surprisingly enough, it is packed with a ton of features for serious city building. The add-on can generate complex road networks and populate them with tens of thousands of buildings. Under the hood, it uses a node-based system, which lets you set up rules and parameters for your city. For example, you can define zones, road patterns, building placement methods, in addition to other things. And it even comes with its library of buildings and road pieces included, so you're not starting from scratch. Last but not least, we're gonna talk about CityGen, which brings its own special favor to the table. It works in a similar way to the City Generator add-on, in that you can start from a flat plane, then you can draw out or edit that plane, and it turns it into a city in real time, filled with streets, buildings, trees, traffic lights, in addition to other things. However, it is not as popular as the other ones, but you can see for yourself and decide for yourself if you can give it a try. Generally, the default building assets it comes with are kind of optimized for medium distance views. Think like 3 to 5 meters away from the building, or 10 to 15 feet, which is great for drone like city shots. But you can plug in your own detailed models if you want close up shots or add realism to your scenes. It also comes with an environment lighting system, basically, a procedural night and day sky where you can move the moon around and see lighting updates accordingly. So basically, you will not need HDRIs for city night scenes, but generally speaking, it is all up to you to use that feature or not. And there you have it, guys. If you like these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.